Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Resh from my Automation channel. Today in this session, we will understand what is a summary report listener as part of JMeter performance series. So let's get create that listener. So this is my test plan. Under test plan, I have a thread group. I will go to thread group, right click, add and go to the listener. And in the listener, you will find the summary report. So if you see a view results tree and view results table, so both are uh, representing in a table or format or a tree format so this summary report is similar to a table or format let's see and first execute and let's see and, uh, and analyze that results so i will go and run this test plan now the records are uh, started executing so if you go to the view results tree and view results table you will see uh, different different rows are coming here whereas in uh, summary report if you see summary report only one record or one line is coming for the http samples so now I have only HTTP sampler of only one type or one which is executing over a period of time for multiple times. So now this is a sample which is a HTTP request sample. This is a label which talks about my samples which are there. Right now it is only one. For that reason I am getting only one. Now next column it represents the samples. So samples is the number of threads that we have executed. In this case we have taken a 20. So that 20 is coming here and next you have an average column so average is a time taken by the all samples to execute the specific samples in our case the average time it took for the sample was 25 milliseconds and then we have a minimum so minimum is something which is the shortest time taken by the samples for a specific sampler so this is the shortest time and this is the average time then is a the maximum so maximum you will now understand what is the maximum it's so like the longest time it taken for that sampler to execute so it is a 37 milliseconds so then then you have a standard deviation so this shows that the set of exceptional cases which were deviating from the average value of sample and the lesser this value the more consistent in the data so standard deviation should be less than or equal to half of our average time so our average time is 25 seconds so it is less than to that so this is about the deviation then you have a error so this is error which is nothing but whenever you are executing a sampler there is a uh, cases where our server may not respond our server may give error or our api call will not reach to the server in that case all errors will be logged in the percentage so if i execute 100 110 samples are failing so 10 percent will be a average error here and then you have a throughput so throughput we have discussed in the last session so you go and watch that session you will understand about throughput and bandwidth so throughput is the number of requests or processed for a given time it may be seconds minutes hours it is taking 1.1 second for average time to process our samples then you have a received and sent kbs per second so this is something which you receive the data or send data from the server so whenever the server is measuring our throughput it may be in terms of kbs which may be uh, here 22.1 and you have a 0.12 so this is the receive and send kbs then you have a average bytes so average bytes are the total bytes of data downloaded from the server the totals is average bytes across all samplers so now you see this is the average time to it took for all samplers from the server it downloaded so this is how you understand summary report hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching